Hi, I'm Ryan Wallace, and we're at my studio in Amagansett, New York. I'll take you on a tour. So I've been working here for six years, and I'm really lucky that the people who live next door are very supportive, lovely family who are collectors and have let me work here and other artists work here and people host art shows. I've been here for six years, so it's really felt like studio for quite a while. And I bounce between here and New York City. Right now I'm working on, well, I finished the end of work for a show at Romer Young Gallery in San Francisco, and now I'm working on a show for Susan Inglet Gallery in New York City. And we'll walk in, here's my paints and glues and tapes and other supplies. This is a area I built to do some exercising. I moved my workout stuff here since gyms closed due to COVID. This room is mostly like a dirty room, I guess you'd call it, but I do start all of my paintings in here. I work on the floor generally to get started. I'll start with this body of work started in about 2016 based on observations of light reflections from a floor installation that I had been repeatedly installing. So I like that there's something to latch on to visually beyond just formal abstract compositions, though that is a major part of my work. I like that there's something that feels like it's of the natural world or could be celestial or alien or people like to find things in them like vegetation but for me I just like that there's something that feels rooted in reality so I'll kind of begin really loosely on the floor with shapes like this then I'll move that to this platform that I built to kind of save my knees and my back and things will slowly tighten up and then I'll put it all together, seam it from the back, glue that with fiberglass. Then when they get to this stage, I'll stretch them and then sometimes they're done, sometimes they're not. I'll show you in the next room where they get to. is this photo actually I took probably 15 years ago it's out of an airplane it's Siberia and this palette has kind of been influential in this body for these two shows it's kind of beautiful but also really intimidating this was from a trip to British Columbia with artist Joseph Hart and Chris Duncan my wife at the time this was this diving board off a cliff into the ocean. That's a Graham Collins. Graham Collins has worked here. Eddie Martinez has worked here. Adam Marney's worked here. It's got a lot of history. There are a bunch of group shows curated in the space as well over time. My table saw and my chop saw for building stretchers and frames. Got another work table over here. Kind of getting, I'm getting ready to move back into the city, to my studio there. So I'm like slowly organizing what I need to bring. There's a bunch of cats that live upstairs that came down, spilled some paint and made some track marks for me. So I'll kind of constantly be organizing the shapes and the material here I knew I wanted some darker material for a painting I was working on, so I came here to kind of build up the surfaces. And from here, I kind of pick small pieces that I think are important and we'll put them in, I've been putting them in this box that I know needs to go back to the city. Over there is kind of the same sort of sorting going on. So then if we come through here, This is another clean room, or this is a clean room. These are some paintings that have been stretched and now 
feel like they could be finished, but I will wait. I'll probably make four more this size and kind of look at all of them with the larger works and everything together and then make final decisions on what might need to happen. The sculpture that I made in here with a really small sampling of floor, like where those reflections came from that kind of inspired this whole body of work. But this is more of a dirty room that usually has stuff all over the floor that I'll kind of get me going and then I'll move it from room to room to kind of move the process along. It's another painting that's probably close to finished. And I'll move outside here. And then this is kind of back where we started. So yeah, thanks for looking. Have a good one.